So here's a quick guide to the Eagle uh, software from CADsoft. Eagle is a software designed to so that you can create schematics and create circuit boards, uh, circuit board layouts that you can send to a prototype manufacturer and get your board made. Or you can print it out and use a uh, etching technique to make a prototype with your circuit. So the first window that you will be presented with when you are starting Eagle is the control panel. And the control panel is where you manage all your projects, your libraries, schematics, layouts, scripts and jobs. So if you want to add something new, like a new project for example, you click on File, New, and then you click Project. So let's do that and we'll name the project My New Project and click and, and push press enter. If you want to change the directories uh, where your projects are located, you can go to Options and Directories. And here you see, here you can see all the different directories uh, for libraries, design rules, user language programs, scripts, scan jobs, and down here is the Projects folder. So I'm keeping my projects in my Dropbox folder so that. Uh, whatever computer I'm on I'll have the latest uh, the latest uh, versions of whatever projects I'm working on. You can also have several directories in each of these if you want. So uh, let's create a new schematic. We'll go to the project we just created and right click then we click new schematic and the schematic window will open up. On the left side here we have different tools. Uh, we have uh, it's a toolbar with selections uh, with a selection of tools and commands to create your circuit. To use a command you click one of the icons and then click on the object to use it with or somewhere in the editor window. So for example if I want to add a part I go here and choose the add button and then I can add parts here. Uh, you can see that uh, there's no libraries, uh, there are no parts available and uh, to get the if that happens to you, you just go to library and use. Then you just select all libraries from your library folder. Then if we click add a part again, we have several different uh, libraries with lots of different parts here. So for example, we can, yeah, if I move it down here so you can see, so if we, for example, want to resistor, we can search for resistor down here. We get lots of different alternatives. So I'll just click on one resistor here and OK. And then I can add resistors by left clicking. I, when uh, to, to get out of this adding mode, I'll, I'll uh, push the escape button and we'll get back to the add dialog and I'll just click cancel. Uh, you can also use the command line if you want to if you don't if you want to write commands uh, for yourself. So for example I can use uh, if
Some of the useful tools found in Eagle is uh, the copy tool. It uh, enables you to copy a component like this. We have the info tool. It uh, enables you to see information about a part. For example, you can change its name uh, or its value and uh, different things, its position. The name command, it makes you, enables you to change the name or uh, yeah the name of a component or a wire. So for example, if you have, uh, if we draw uh, some nets here, for for example, these two, we can name this one, uh, for example, ground, and we'll name this one ground, and then we get the warning connect N2 and ground, yes, and that means now these two wires are connected. We can use the label command, which is down here. Then we can choose between two types of label, plain label or cross-reference label, on or off. So we, if we choose this one, we'll see we get a small label saying ground on both of these. We can use the smash command, it's down here. It separates the name and value from the component. So for example if I smash R3, then I'm now able to move the name of the component relative to the component. And to draw wires, we always use the net command. This is this one. The reason for this is because the wire command it does not uh, do everything for you automatically. For example,